Hi, Mr. Mac. Cool. Where's Alan? Check, check. <laughs> Shut up. Rock and roll. Please don't mind me the two songs. Uh, it's God and Anyone But Her. God and Anyone But Her. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's your boy again, Alex Mack. I'm here with the one and only. Kelsey Martinez. Kelsey Martinez. And we performed two songs today. This is your first time at Life in the Land, right? It is. It is, yeah. Sweet. Uh, let's go into the first song. So, God, what does that song represent to you? So, originally, whenever I first made this song, I had created a six-song EP called Love Is. And it was talking about the three loves that you're supposedly having in your life. Um, that one being the toxic love, the second love, quote unquote. Okay. Um, and that was in all my songs, I always talk about things that I've been through personally, because obviously the best way to represent something is just to talk about your own journey. True. And that was about a relationship that I was in. That was more like a DV situation. Um, it was really tough, but actually I have prayed a lot to help finish the song. Cause that one out of everything was by far the longest that I took creating on that album. But that's where that had stemmed from, just talking about firsthand experience and even my journey to God of just like asking, asking, really ignoring the signs and finally listening. And then suddenly I was good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, what were some of the signs, would you say, is that just like red flags in a relationship or is that like you feel, you know, universal kind of things? It's interesting because there was like a lot of nights that I'm sitting there, I'm asking him, show me a sign. And I'm literally on the floor crying. That's a sign in itself, right? Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, things like that. There was one day, actually the day that I left the situation, I was on my way home and I had finally spoken up and said something uh, and told my story. And it was instead of saying what my reaction was, saying what caused that reaction. And... As I was driving home, this sounds absolutely crazy. That's fine. I, it looked it. like um, a man walking through the clouds. And I was staring at it. I was at a red light. I'm like, I'm going insane. I'm losing my mind. There's something wrong. <laughs> but I'm staring at it. And it just looked like a man walking through the, crowd, uh, through the clouds. And at that moment, I just knew I had to go home and, and end that relationship and start like listening. That was like, for some reason, in that moment, I was like, I'm sure. And I was strong enough to go do it. Now, what did that man in the clouds represent to you? Because my, my mind went to like family guy at first, <laughs> like the sniper rifle popping out. <laughs> no, <'Cause> it, <laughs> honestly, it gave me peace. It gave me peace. It felt um, like safety. I often feel like I'm protected in some type of way, whether it's my family members that have passed. And it gave me that same feeling. And it felt like instead of me kind of being on that waiver line, that... I just had that strength suddenly. And even though it weirded me out to see that for sure, I was like, it just gave me a surety that I hadn't experienced in, in a good amount of time since before that relationship happened. Is a spiritual conviction something that's new for you that like that like was a signal for it to like the next process of it? Or is that something you've like been moving through? It definitely was new for me because especially in that phase of life, I wasn't sure if God was real. I didn't know if it was a thing. Um, I didn't grow up in a household where it was pushed on me in any way. My parents, it was pushed on them as a child mm. and they wanted us to have a choice for ourselves. So through my college years, I was wavering back and forth because I, I didn't know what to do with my life. I didn't know who I was. Yeah. And you think of God and it's the idea of having a higher power to believe in something to support you. Um, and that process was me kind of like wavering back and forth. Oh, he can't be real. Cause this life wouldn't be like this. I wouldn't be a, B and C, but instead, once I came out of it, that's when I started my journey of, okay, let me sit down for myself, educate myself, really think about this and, and find my own relationship and what that means. That's beautiful. And that's what it's about ultimately, right? Even with exactly. art, it's like finding your own relationship with it. Exactly. So what is next for you then, music-wise? Music-wise, so I've been doing this since I was like nine years old. Um, honestly, I've gotten to a point in my music where I just want to be, I just want to be myself. I don't want to put myself in a box. I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I don't want to do what's popular. I just want to keep creating and what sparks me as an artist um, I love helping other artists. I love directing. I do a lot of my own stuff. And 
I just want to keep pushing with that and hopefully it finally hits the right ears. But either way, I just know I'm just going to keep creating. So there's no like ultimate path. Would I love to be the behind the scenes person, especially as a songwriter one day creating all the secret hits without anybody knowing right, and get money, that money yeah. without anybody knowing who I am? Honestly, yeah. Um, but besides that, just creating and continuing to have fun with it. Beautiful. Is there a message you want to leave the people? Be yourself. Um, I think we spend too much time worrying about what we look like, how others perceive us, and I struggle with that a lot. If we just, our individuality is what makes us the most beautiful. So in a world filled with people of all shapes, sizes, colors, everything, let yourself stand out. Don't be afraid. Wear that shirt even if somebody else thinks it's ugly. And uh, keep doing you. Beautiful. So I want to follow you at. Follow me everywhere, Kelsey Martinez, uh, K-E-L-S-E-A. I'm on all platforms, every streaming service you can think of. Instagram, Kelsey Martinez underscore official. Dope. Let's do a cool little pause at the end. Like a little. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so, I can't lie with shirts though. Like I kind of like don't want to. Like uh, you ever seen that Monet, the yellow Monet shirt? Yeah, I bought that. I thought I was all fly and shit. I saw saw like a guy at the gym wearing that. I was like, never wear this shirt ever again, bro. Everybody has this. Where's Alex? <laughs> <laughs>